Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> to another exciting episode of me playing Minecraft and showing you how to play Minecraft as well. So anyway, we're back to ga uh, gathering cobble. Um, for what, I don't remember. I just remember that we were ga gathering cobble for something with our amazing iron pickaxe of awesome. Woohoo! Almost fell. What is down here, I wonder? Probably something amazing. Let's find out. Ooh, scary music. And let's place a torch right there. So we can see where the hell we're going. That is always good. Very far to get down. Whoop. Kind of messed that up, but oh well. Now the scary music that you heard is usually a pretty good indicator that there's a dungeon nearby. Dungeons are cool because they can give you materials you wouldn't otherwise be able to find. Like cocoa beans. Alright, there's some coal. I'm not too worried about the coal. Oh no! I'm sorry if it's really dark. Now, I always place my torches on the right side of the hallway so I can find my way back. Because the way back, the torches will be on the left side of the hallway. Alright, uh, one more. As soon as we get up here, we're blocking off this water. There it is. Block it off. Uh, yes. And there's some iron. Go away, water. Come on, a whole bunch of iron. Yeah. Not bad. All right. It would be awesome if we could be, it would be pretty awesome if we could find the that dungeon. Obviously, we're gonna pick up all this coal. Oh yes, I remember. We needed stone for the uh, barn. Wow, this is a really, really big coal vein. I think the biggest coal vein I ever got gave me like 56 coal. It was a lot. This one gave me 38 so far. This one might take the cake. Jesus. Uh, maybe not. If there is one more layer of coal, I definitely would. Oh, it might. 58. That is the biggest coal vein I've ever gotten. 58 coal. That is ridiculous. Why is the shader mod working underground? That's kind of weird. It really makes you think that we're like above or near the maybe we're just that close to the top I don't know I guess that's a bug with the shader mod um, we're not gonna go down there yet that looks scary so we're gonna go ahead and head back to the top using our shitty stairway oh man see, see what I mean shitty stairway um, are we even going the right way no, no, not. Damn it. Ugh. There we go. Freedom! We are free! 
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and come back in here and we're going to make another furnace because we are busy motherfuckers. So, another furnace. We're just going to plop that furnace right on top of the other one. Put some of our 58 fucking coal in there. And then the other cobblestone in there. Go ahead and cut that. Put that in there. 41 and 31. Alright, that's fine. Not super even, but it'll work. Stick our iron in there. Do we have anything we can get started with? Because we're just going to use regular smooth stone. I think that would be really nice. Okay. Now the barn is... Um, what are we going to keep in the barn? Hmm... I guess we could actually make a tool shed rather than a barn. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just build a barn. Fuck it. Fuck thinking about what it's for. Let's just fucking build it. Alright, that's our barn. It's looking real good. I like it. <laughs> Kidding. Okay. Six and six. Our wheat's growing. That's good. Not bad. You know what we can do? We can chop down some trees. Now once we get our farm area set up all nice and good, we can start bringing in the farm animals. Because um, like I was saying before, it's kind of pointless to bring the animals in when they're just going to run away anyway. Because they will, like, spawn. They'll, they'll stay spawned for a while. And just wander forever and ever. So, not having a uh, a pen or something to put them in, they'll just they'll wander away, and your food will just literally grow legs and walk away. Nice. They're cooking at like the exact same rate of speed. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Anyway, wood to wooden planks, and then all these wooden planks to sticks. You're thinking, that is a lot of fucking sticks, Madeline. And I'd say, yes, it is, but we need them. We need them for all the fencing we're going to need to close in that area. Alright, fence. Grass is a some fencing person's worst enemy. Because sometimes it'll fuck up and you'll place a fence on top of the grass and it's just it's just horrible. Keep going. Oh. That's alright. We can work a little bit on our barn. Really need to be that high? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, that was a waste. Should just ow, left it that high. All right. Yeah, you're also probably thinking. Why are you building a barn out of stone? And I and I'm thinking to you, why the fuck not? We already used a uh, oh man, what a waste of stone. See what you guys made me do. So mad. I'm just kidding. I'm mad. Besides, 
I'm not going to make it all stone. I'm just doing a, a stone outline. And then the insides are going to be wooden. Because that would look awesome. Duh. Okay. Do we have a bunch of wood? No, we don't. That sucks. Uh, the wonderful Minecraft music. Brought to you by C418. Bask in it, ladies and gentlemen. Damn it! So nice. Jesus, how big was this tree? All right, this should be enough. music. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and build the roof. I'm kind of worried that might look totally stupid. I had an axe. Now, a lot of you um, probably know at least a little bit of mine, about Minecraft and know that uh, diamonds are where it's at. And diamonds are where it's at. Nothing's better than cruising around in full diamond armor with a diamond sword. Yeah. You're pretty much the king of the world. But, there's a lot that goes into getting that diamond, uh, that diamond stuff. Which we'll get started on once we secure our food supply. <clears throat> of course, there's also the scary aspects of Minecraft, which uh, I won't get into yet. I don't want to spoil anything. But we'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. Definitely need an axe. Just in case I fuck up again. Why does it I never have cobblestone whenever I'm making a new axe? Okay, sticks. I wonder if I can make an axe out of smooth stone. You can't. You can't. That's so silly. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, as always, we're going over here to get more wood because we need lots of wood. Oh, man, we need food, too. Holy crap. Why didn't anybody say anything? So anyway, um, yeah. Once we have our barn secure, then we can uh, have fun times <laughs> trying to bring the freaking animals over here. It's not always as easy. It's not as easy as it sounds. They like to just kind of stop caring about your wheat. Just kind of wander off. It's okay. It's still fun. Okay. Now, before we get over there, we're going to grab some food first. Oh, no. <laughs> Misclicked. Placed wood. 
All right, some delicious cooked chickens. Mm, yum, yum. Delicious chickens. All right, now, to make these more like stairs, there we go. Okay, now let's place some wood. This might be enough. We'll see. Bedding, probably not, but you never know. Right there for now. You know, this actually might be enough. I know I'm probably thinking to it, speaking too soon, thinking ahead. Yeah, no, this is definitely enough. Hooray! Good shit. Maybe we can make some more stairs. <laughs> Because I like the design we did with the house and the steps. So I think I'm going to copy that onto the barn. Oh, I thought we went all the way out. Oh well. Okay, this might not be enough. It's raining. Now, unlike most of the population of Minecraft, I actually really like the rain. And it does not lag me. See? Steady FPS. Even with the shader mod on. Oh, creeper! No, creeper! Get out of here! Okay, iron's done. Hmm. Alright, we need... Oh, it's raining outside, guys. <laughs> I like the rain. I like the rain in real life and in Minecraft. Because rain is awesome. Okay, we need more wood. Which means we need to venture out into the rain. Oh, it's cold. It's cold rain. Oh, now it's snowing. Yay, it's pretty. But yes, need more wood. going. Oh, hair zombie. That is a big tree. Let me die. In your face, zombie. skinny guys. An Enderman. An Enderman. Oh, where is he at? I don't want to look at him in the face. I hear him. Where's he at? There he is. They don't bother you as long as you don't look at him directly in the eyes. Because then they go after you. See? Oh no! I looked at him. However, they don't like water. So, if you don't want them to chase after you, either jump into like a lake, or like, you know, in the rain. Cause like, they're smart, they're smart. They're like, they'll hide under here. And if they get into the water, they'll just teleport away. But, you can at least use it as a way for them to not come after you. And they hurt, that's why I ran away. Cause I, I wasn't really trying to fight him. <laughs> Those guys hit really hard. But their ender pearls are very, very important. Oh no. Damn it. I can't get out now. <laughs> the trapper has become the trapped. LOL. There we go. It's a barn, I guess. It's a shitty barn, but it's a barn. I look so bad. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like it. Just remember, we need some torches for in there. Oh, I got some arrows. Some 
couple sticks, a couple of coal. Alright, that should light things up pretty good. Now, let's take the rest of this wood and finish off the gates. Um, now, I know one thing we'll need to do is definitely make an area where we can, you know, get down. So, probably right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. I like to be symmetrical. Because, like, we need areas where we can get animals in. I guess it actually only needs to be one wide. Because fence gates only take up one block. Let's go plant these saplings. Because we're good. We're good to the environment. Get inside. It's raining. Oh, I hear the skinny guy. Oh no, not that. See, he's getting hurt. He's getting hurt by the water. Good. A little jerk. Or big jerk. Oh, I think I made way too many. <laughs> Dang. Oh no, not a ladder. Why don't I make a ladder? Okay. Hey, I only need one. I only need one. Oh, we might have just enough. Nice. And for the, like, look. There we go. Looks a little bit more like a barn. Except not at all. There we go. <laughs> Still doesn't really look like a barn. I could have done a better barn, but I don't know. I was, I was trying to be, like, more original. I guess it's not too bad. Alright, what do we want next? Um, uh, fence gates. We need three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Three fence gates. All right, and oh no. Yeah. Very good. Oh yeah, we should probably place some torches around. Always remember to close the gates. What's the point of building gates if you're always leaving them open? There we go. Now obviously, uh, once it's actually like dark dark, I'll be able to see exactly where I need to put more torches, but for now that should be good. Look, our wheat is almost all done. Let's go ahead and gather up this wheat. Hooray, plant some more seeds. Now we can finally make some bread. All right, now to make bread, you don't even need to, you don't need a furnace, which is what I thought when I first thought about bread. You take two wheat each, or one wheat, three wheat rather, in a line like this, and you get bread. Now you're thinking to yourself, that's a lot of work for one piece of bread. 
And yes, you're right, it is a lot of work for one piece of bread. But that's what it works. That's it it is. You don't get too much food for bread either. But once you get a uh, farm going, it's it's really not that much work at all. Because you can plant like a shit ton of wheat and then just harvest all the wheat and you don't have a crap ton of bread. I don't know. I like bread. It's simple once you get it started. <laughs> but, um, yep. There we go. We finished our barn. We harvested our wheat. And now we have some delicious bread. Our farm is nice and ready to go for some animales. Which we'll hopefully find some animals other than, other than sheep. We don't just want sheep. I don't really need that much wool. But, um, yeah. We'll probably take a, go off on our hunt for animales next episode. So for now, guys, excuse me, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.